Hi children. Hello my dear younger kids. Have you taken your breakfast children? Welcome back to the class. What did I teach you day before yesterday children? Once recall. Yes. What is the name of lesson children? Water. Water. What is the color of water children? What is the color of water? What is the taste of water? Water is colorless. It has no color. It has no smell. It has no taste. So water is colorless, tasteless and no odor. Okay children. But it is very important for us. No? It is one of the basic need no children. If you feel thirsty, what do you do? Yes, we drink water when we feel thirsty. Okay, we drink definitely clean water. Okay, children? Yes. Children, how many glasses of water you drink every day? Can you drink water or not? Yes, we are drinking water every day when we feel thirsty. After eating any food, we drink water, no children? Yes. Can we live without water? No. Can animals live without water? No. Why do animals need water? Ma? Why do animals need water? Yes. They do need water like us. They do need water for drinking. All the animals drink water and they do bath. Okay. And uh, yes. They are going to ponds and uh, lakes and rivers. Yes, children? Yes. So, all uh, we do clean the animal's body with water, no children? Do you have any pet animal? Yes. Okay. So, all the animals also need water for drinking and bathing. Okay. Do you pour water to plants every day? Yes. Why do plants need water? Yes, they do living things like us, no? Yes, without pour water, what will happen to them? They do die without water, okay? All the animals, human beings, plants also need water. Without water, we cannot live. Isn't it? Okay, so plants do need water to make food and to grow. Okay, we do need water. For drinking. Okay. What do you use for brushing your teeth? What do you use for brushing your teeth? Yes. Water. Without water, is it possible to clean your mouth? No. Yes. So, what do you use for bathing? We need clean water. Your mom use clean water for cooking food. Your mom use clean water for washing the clothes. Okay children. Your mom needs clean water for cleaning the utensils. Okay. Okay. For example if any fire accident. Suppose a fire accident occur. How can you put it ma? Suppose a fire accident occur. How can you put it a fire? We use lot of water. For putting out the fire. So putting out of fire also need water. Did it rain yesterday? Did it rain today? No. But where do we get water? What is the main source of water? What are the fluffy things present in the sky? What are the white fluffy things in the sky? What we call it? What is the name of those? Can you tell? Yes. Clouds. Clouds give us rain. What are the white fluffy things present in the sky? Can you tell? What are those? Yes. They are clouds. Clouds give us rain. Rain is the main source of water. Rain is the main source of water. Okay. So, rain water. Okay. During the rains, rain water goes into Rivers, lakes, ponds, wells, streams and puddles. Okay. And 
they go deep into the ground that is called ground water okay children so what is the main source of water rain is the main source of water children is water necessary for us yes necessary okay water is very necessary for us okay can you tell what to use for irrigating the crops water okay we use water for irrigating the crops for putting out the fire fire for bathing for cleaning for washing okay for cleaning the cars okay we use water every day okay water is the way water is very very important for us don't waste water you have to drink every day 8 to 10 glasses of water okay water cools our body okay our 70% of our body weight is uh, made up of water okay okay 71% of earth surface is covered with the water do you know what is the name of our planet our planet name is earth how much of uh, water present on earth 71% of earth surface is covered with the water okay children what is the main source of water how do we get plenty of water yes rain 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 is the main source of water okay rain is the purest form of water but uh, rain water rain water reaches the lakes rivers wells ponds streams and puddles these are all the surface water no children surface of water okay rain water reaches the rivers lakes ponds wells that is the surface of water rain is the main source of water but uh, rain water goes deep into the ground no children yes that is called underground water if you pour water to plants absorb take one mug of water pour on the surface of the soil water goes deep into the soil no like that rain water also goes deep into the ground that is called underground water okay na we use underground water for uh, hand pumps and bore wells okay children and uh, we use surface water we build the dams and canals okay na we you we build the dams and canals and we use we use water from the rivers lakes and ponds but uh, water is not pure for drinking uh, in rivers lakes and ponds this water is also impure okay so all these are the fresh sources of water but this is not a purest form of water before drinking you should boil the water okay children what is the main source of water ma rain is the main source of water okay children yes what are the uses of water water is used for drinking bathing cooking food cleaning washing watering the plants and putting out the fire okay every day we use water from morning till night no children whenever we feel thirsty we drink water okay for bathing we need water for brushing we need water after eating anything we drink water we drink water okay children mom use so much of water from morning till night without water we can't do anything we can't live all plants also need water to live and grow so all living things need water to stay alive without water we cannot survive it is not possible to live happy okay children so what are the sources of water sources means getting water how do we get water from where do we get water we get water from the rivers lakes and ponds okay we get water from the lakes rivers and streams and uh, ponds okay this is called surface water rain water falls on the ground and uh, some of it water goes deep into the soil that is called underground water that is called underground water we use uh, dams we build the dams and the canals amma okay na uh, to use surface water okay rivers and lakes and ponds are the surface water no children okay we build the dams we build the canals for storing the surface water we store the water in rivers and 
and the lakes and ponds no children yes that is the surface water okay so water is present in the rivers lakes and ponds that is called surface water we build the dams and canals okay for using the surface water is it clear children rain water yes rain water goes to rivers lakes and ponds already we build the dams and canal for storage the rain water in rivers lakes and ponds and wells this is known as surface water okay we use surface water for many purpose for uh, drinking purpose for irrigation purpose for putting out the fire we use surface water and also we use underground water underground water rain water goes deep into the uh, soil no children ground no children that is called underground water okay na we get underground water from the hand pumps no children hand pumps and wells okay children yes we use electric motor to draw water from the ground we use a hand pumps and sometimes we use uh, nowadays uh, your parents also use uh, uh, um, uh, uh, electric uh, generators okay children and for uh, draw the water from the ground we use hand pumps and we use electric motors and generators to draw water from the wells okay children so under the ground so much of water present under the ground if you pour water on the ground surface of the ground it goes deep into the soil so we get underground water from the wells and hand pumps people are using have electric motors or generators to draw water from the ground ask to mom how do we get underground water ask to your mom okay so we get underground water we get a uh, underground water from the yes hand pumps and wells okay children okay for draw the water from the ground we use electric generators and electric motors to draw water from the ground is it clear amma yes these are all the sources of water this is the underground water we build the dams and rivers for store the water in rivers lakes and ponds okay ask to mom where do we get uh, water how do we get water ask to mom once again okay children now storage of water where do we store water amma we store water in the tanks no children we build the tank we build the tank water tank in a roof of the house no children yes children we get uh, water from the tanks we okay, get home we get water from the tanks and we store water in the buckets no yes and water bottles no and uh, yes and uh, drums pots okay buckets we store plenty of water in our home also okay children so where do we store water ask to your mom where do we store water see in your bathroom bucket full of water is there in the bathroom no so we store water in the buckets okay we get water from the tanks already we built a ta water tank in top of the house okay we get water through the uh, water pipes no children yes we store water in the buckets tanks okay pots and uh, water bottles and also drums okay we use water yes for uh, washing clothes and uh, cleaning the floors cleaning the cars putting out the fire okay we use water every day you know that's why we store water and also we store water in uh, reservoirs like nagarjuna sagar sri sailam dam we okay they are storing water for us no yes for drinking purpose people are storing the water in reservoirs sri sailam okay nagarjuna sagar these are all the reservoirs no yes so we store water in our home in buckets tanks drums bottles people are storing the uh, water in reservoirs okay reservoirs like sri sailam and nagarjuna sagar these are all the huge reservoirs for storing the water yes they build the dams and canals okay children now water bodies what are called water bodies amma water bodies means water is present in the lakes rivers wells seas oceans okay na and also 
wells okay these are all the sources these are all the sources of water or water bodies water is present in the wells ponds rivers streams oceans and seas those are called water bodies people nowadays people are throwing all waste material in water body so water bodies gets polluted if you drink that kind of water we may get so many diseases like diarrhea and typhoid okay and jaundice cholera okay children that's why water bo who polluted the water bodies people only okay human beings only polluted the water bodies if you throw waste materials in water bodies so water bodies get polluted water bodies means water is present in the lakes rivers seas and oceans and streams those are called water bodies how do water bodies get polluted amma by throwing all waste material dumped into the water so water gets polluted in water bodies okay don't throw any waste material in water bodies amma if you throw all waste material in water bodies okay water gets polluted if you drink uh, polluted water or impure water we may get uh, sick we may get so many diseases water contain germs water contain germs they may cause so many diseases you no know? like diarrhea typhoid cholera jaundice okay now if you drink polluted water if you drink impure water uh, they uh, they may contain germs they may cause so many diseases that's why before drinking you must boil the water children before drinking you have to check the water whether it is clean or not okay now don't drink outside of the water okay children ask to mom to give clean water we are using purifiers at our homes purifier they only pur purify the water okay children every day we are drinking purify the water no children but don't drink uh, outside of the water if the water contain germs they may cause many diseases okay we may get typhoid if you drink polluted water we may get typhoid if you drink uh, polluted water or impure water we may get uh, jaundice or cholera or typhoid or diarrhea or dysentery loose motions okay children don't drink the impure water or polluted water don't pollute the water bodies okay so if you throw any waste material in water bodies water gets polluted if you drink polluted water we are suffering uh, with jaundice cholera typhoid and uh, dysentery children okay children okay